Hey everyone, welcome to Heavy Metal. Today I thought it would be very interesting to do a making of a video video. And what this is, and this is not how everybody does it, this is just how I do it. I'm going to show y'all from step one to the last step what it takes and what all is involved in making a video. Well, first of all, it goes without saying, I reckon you got to have cameras and this and that and the other thing. But that's a given. First up, you got to have an idea. I come out here most of the time on Mondays and sit down and try to think of some ideas and write me a list down of what I would like to uh, shoot for videos. And I just use little post-it notes. And go on about my business with that. I take, do take this out to the range with me and mark them off as I do every video. But generally, to start out with, we get our ideas. The next, you need to gather everything that you need to make the idea happen. So, uh, for what I've got listed down here, let's go ahead and grab our firearms and our ammo that we need to do this video. Today I'm doing uh, several different videos, but we will uh, show you what all is involved in doing just one. I'm doing one with the uh, with some golf balls. Here's my 7.5. I uh, don't even think I'm using it, but I always keep it in my range bag. I am using the 22 and my Desert Eagle today. Does your day going to be a different video that y'all will see later in the week. Grab the little 22. That will be for this video, uh, which the making of this video is I'll be working on shooting some uh, golf balls, which we already have golf balls out at the range. So we don't have to go out and gather them. Usually I have to run out to the store and buy whatever I need. Well, I get my range bag ready. I've got my other camera in here. My other little tripod. There's my 50. I've got me some ammo. That I've chosen for some videos in here as well. And of course I always keep my RP9 in here for any 9mm videos. We've got that. Got my ears. So yeah, we're ready to go as far as supplies go. We got everything we need to shoot. We got our safety equipment. Uh, we're going to grab our shotgun and take it out there because I have some, a shotgun video that I'm going to do later on as well. And I almost forgot my notepad and my list. Alright, well, let's get this all zapped up and uh, head out to the range now. Alright, we got all of our stuff outside, and every time I leave this building, whether I'm just running over the house to get a cup of coffee or going outside to shoot videos or whatever, I completely lock it up and turn the alarm on. Better safe than sorry, and I mean that is just the right thing to do. So now we get to grab all this stuff, and let me tell y'all, that bag, today I got it loaded pretty light. Because I'm only doing like, uh, I think, three videos a day. But a lot of times, I'll do all seven videos for the week in one day. And this thing can weigh a couple of hundred thousand pounds, it seems like. But let me uh, gather all of this and let's head out to the range. All right, got my bag out here. Let me run down there and grab that shotgun right quick. All right, got my shotgun. I'm just going to set it back here on this bench. And now you see I've got where this camera sits. And that's normally about where I'm setting that camera, just depending on what I'm shooting. We will be moving it over here in order to make this video. 
what I do go ahead and get a the phone out if somebody calls. Get this camera out and get it set up. And this is the one I use for the close-up and uh, the slow motion shots. Yeah, you know, this Nikon's been a uh, really cool little camera. Right, our pen and paper, and then we're going to decide what video we're doing. I think the first video we're going to do is a 9mm jacketed hollow point and a 22 hollow point versus some golf balls. So, we'll grab a 22. Go ahead and get our ears out. Grab our nine millimeter. And our ammo. Uh, this was actually a uh, drop by from my friend Galen. We want to throw him a thing. Let's set that right there for now. Don't want to open it up yet. We want to open that up and throw Galen the thanks on the actual video. So what we need here is a couple of golf balls, of course. Yeah, I just left them sitting under there. There's one. We'll need two for this. Get back down there for a later video. All right, so we need two golf balls. Two shotgun shells. The good thing about this range, if you need something, just bend down and grab it. It's probably laying here. Especially when it comes to shells and whatnot. Alright, now what we need to do first, and what I always do, is go ahead and get our thumbnails. Um, let's set these over here on a little corner piece. I take a lot of thumbnails there and get them done. Yeah, they say the thumbnail is one of the most important things. So, we can grab one each of our ammo. Sit up there like that. Now, I like using the uh, Nikon for my thumbnail and my still pictures. It just seems to uh, make a really, really nice picture. I'm going to get in there close. Take a couple of different ones. And now I have that. All right, grab our stuff, bring it back over. I mean, yeah, it, it does seem a little monotonous at times, but I mean, there is a lot involved in shooting a video. More than what y'all actually will see unless you do videos. And that's the reason I'm making this video. Now I'm going to leave the camera at this angle here because it's, we'll be shooting golf balls. So, bang out through there. You know, we got a little rain, got some water in here, didn't we? That dry out. Alright, now we need uh, a wooden block so we can set our golf balls on. Let's go grab that. That'll work. 
what I do in all of these videos as well, I always think of where that bullet's going to end up. While well, these bullets go through these golf balls, and if I'm going to be standing here and shooting, it's going up there in the woods, and then that hill goes on up, so there's no danger of this bullet escaping. Be safe. Alright, now we've got all of that done. We've got everything sitting out and ready. Uh, we'll get our slow-mo camera set up here right before we make our shoots because we don't want to eat up a lot of uh, battery life and a lot of the uh, memory card on that. I'll reset the camera and we'll go ahead and do our introduction and tell everybody what we're up to. I think this would be a good camera angle for the introduction. And what we're going to do, sort of uh, clean up our area, if you will. I'm going to set the phone back here, out of sight. My pad and my paper, let's set it over here, out of sight. Got my close-up camera sitting back here, out of sight. Trying to keep everything uh, as nice and neat as you can without, you know, looking like you've got a lot of mind or what have you. Go ahead and get this first shot set up. Alright, um, yeah, I'm having me a cigarette while I'm doing this. If that offends any of y'all, well, what can I say? I hate it for you. But I smoke and drink coffee, and that's just me. So if I can get these to set up here a little bit, just a, a little bit of a nicer presentation. Like I say, a lot of thought goes into doing stuff. It may help, it may not, I don't know. But like I say, this is just how I do it. Alright, we've got everything set up the way that we would like it. Let's go ahead and do our introduction now. Alright, camera's on and it's recording. Always check, guys, because I have literally sit here and shot rounds at some targets and forgot to push the record button. It sounds like something stupid, but it will happen, so slow down a minute and I'll wish you. Alright, now our intro. Hey everyone, welcome to Heavy Metal. Out on the range day on this beautiful day. All that super hot weather we had last week has left us, and this week looks like no rain, and it's going to be in the mid-80s, so fantastic. And what are we up to today? Well, we're shooting some golf balls with some different type of bullets this time. And, you hear the phone ringing? That's how come y'all see a lot of slices in the edit. Let me grab that. And it is a robo call. That's a good way to just piss you off when you're trying to do work. But, hey, it happens. Alright, so we got our little introduction there going. So, we're going to edit in. Uh, the rest of our introduction now. Well, our friend Galen from up the road gave us some ammo and asked if we could redo one of the golf balls he used. And I said, yeah, I'm happy to. And here's what he sent us. Some uh, 22, these are 36 grain, copper-plated hollow points. These are Federals. Get you a good look at that. And I'm going to be shooting them out of our Smith & Wesson 622. Yeah, man. That's a fun shooter. And you give us some different 9mm. These are some Federal Premium uh, 135 grain Hypershock jacketed hollow points. Yeah, that's some serious 9mm going on there. And, of course... We'll be using our Remington RP9 to sling them down range. Yes, this is one of my favorite 9 millimeters, no doubt about that. Uh, we've got a basic setup like we did last time. We're using our Callaways because that's what we have and that's what we like. And these are pretty bright, so we should be able to see them well. Now, I've got a good angle. I can get down here and shoot. Try to launch him bad boys up there. And of course the bullet we end up in what we call the safety zone back there. No danger of any of these bullets getting to a neighbor, their animals, whatever. 
that is a safe shoot up through there. I own the property, so I know it. So we're good there. Well, let's gather everything up and get the slow-mo camera going and make these shots. Y'all throw down in the comments what you think is going to happen. All right, and then from there, we will, of course, I'll show y'all inside when we do our editing. And now, we're getting ready to do our shoots. I'm going to move this camera to here, I do believe. Yeah, now that's pretty good looking. Everybody can see me shoot here. They won't see the ball go out that range. Now we need to get our other camera set up to where we can see it very well. I usually like to try to have this thing hidden, but and sometimes it's sort of hard to. And sometimes it's hard to just sit here and think of what kind of uh, angle you're going to get and what will be the best shot for this. I think for this one, we may set the camera back here. Let's see. No, that was a terrible idea. Let's try this, go back to where we was. All right, this camera angle here. Yeah, that gives us what we need. We can see the guy fall and we can see all the way out through there. I like say, <laughs> big deal when it comes to camera angle. Make sure you get your stuff right. All right, now what we're going to do, go ahead and make sure this camera's recording. And it is. It's live. Yeah, there again. I forgot to turn that one on. Now, we're going to get back to the actual video. Here we go. All right, guys. Got the uh, slow-mo close-up camera set up. And uh, let's grab us some ears. Be safe. There we go. All right, first up is going to be our 22. Like I say, this is a 36 grain federal copper plated hollow point. In our little 622. All right, let me get a good angle. Let's make this shot. I think we'll just get all the way down here. Get pretty much point blank on this bad boy and let it rip. Hey, we got a little bit of distance on that. And we are clear. You're not bad. Uh, we'll run out there in a minute and we'll retrieve that one. Alright, next up. Nine millimeter. Don't you fall down. Like I say, that is a 36 grain federal. I mean, 36 grain. 135 grain hydroshock jacketed hollow point from, and that's a federal premium. That's a twenty dollar bullet right there, ain't it, guys? All right, let's try to get down here exactly like we were. Get good and point blank and let her rip. Oh man! Yeah, we got some flight time on that one. And like I've said before, we are clear. If it goes over that hill, I'm not searching for it. But let's walk out and grab the uh, 22 long rifle one because we can check it out and see what happened with that one. All right, I'll go ahead and uh, put my ears up. I know I'm clear in both firearms. It's always been 150 percent sure. So if we're clear, shut off this camera. We are through with it. And now we'll go ahead 
and walk out and check out our uh, one we hit with our 22 and we'll just do a good guesstimation on the 9 millimeter one. And here we go. Walk with me out there and we'll check out this 22 one. Seems like the hollow points did make a difference versus the last time. Now this 22, I'm going to call that thing a good 30 feet that it flew. And there she is right there. There's our little entrance hole. Am I not seeing an exit? Yeah, there's the exit right there. Well, far out, but I mean 30 feet is great. Now, as far as that uh, 9 millimeter goes, man, there better not be no snakes up here. Can't stand snakes. Hey, look, there's another one. One that we shot last time. Yeah, who do you come up here? Weed eat it, sprayed weed killer and everything. Done a fantastic job. Man, everything looks so nice. Much, much better. I don't know if we can see that Callaway or not. No, I know it went over the hill. Where we're standing at right now is 60 feet. So I'm going to guesstimate it somewhere out there in the middle. We're going to call that probably 80 footish, give or take. Like I say, I don't see it and I'm not walking out there to look at it. But as soon as I get a chance, I need to walk out there and clean up. That's a fact. But that's no big deal. It's part of having a range and shooting a bunch of stuff. All right, so now we're going to walk back down and put the camera back on the tripod and do our outro. Get the camera back at a good angle for our outro, and here we go. Well, guys, now that was a trip just using some different ammo compared to the first video. If you didn't see the first video, run through the playlist and catch it. It was pretty cool. But that little 36 grain hollow point 22 put this bad boy 10 yards, which is 30 feet out there. And that's pretty good. And then our 135 grain Hydroshock 9mm put that thing out, we're guessing somewhere around 80 feet because it went well over the 60 foot mark. And that as well, uh, very impressive with that ramp. Well guys, I appreciate you watching. Hope y'all enjoyed that. I enjoyed shooting it. That was fun. And throw another thanks out to Galen for dropping this ammo by and giving us a good idea to redo this one. If y'all would, throw me down some comments. Uh, if you're able, hit us up on Patreon. And please, like, share, and subscribe. Again, appreciate it much. Until the next one, I hope that everyone has a fantastic day. Alright, then normally I just shut the camera off and go on about my business. Which, going on about my business will be, I still have one of each one of these rounds. That'll be good to do in another test. We'll put them up. The golf ball's not destroyed. Yeah, I'll throw it down here and we'll do something with it at some time. And I always go ahead and put up what I'm using. Y'all see me, I've already checked it. It is both firearms clear. Uh, gotta stay, uh, just stay super safe. And the thing about it, I am out here uh, by myself. So I don't want an accident or anything like that to happen. Go ahead and grab a pencil. A pencil. A pen and paper. So making of a video. I want to write one half on that. That means I have not completed it. So what I'm going to do now while I'm out here at the range is go ahead and shoot my other videos. And after that I'll take y'all back inside and show y'all the rest of the process of making a video 
and getting it to the point where y'all can click and watch. All right, everyone. Now that I've shot all of my videos, it's time to uh, put everything up. So let's start grabbing stuff. Uh, hit our checklist here. I got my videos shot. I wanted to shoot today. Put this stuff back where it belongs. That stupid telephone. Get in a hurry and you forget stuff. Don't get in a hurry, don't forget. And yes, stuff has been left out at the range before. And that's going to happen, so, uh, like I say, make sure you just take a minute, look and see what's going on, and that you have everything. Me, I'm lucky. This is my range, it's right behind my business on my property. So if I leave something out here, dogs or somebody coming up here and stealing it are pretty much zero because I don't think nobody's stupid enough to try to steal from me. But I still want to make sure I get everything in. Shut the electric off. We got everything. We shot everything. All right. Now, let's go inside and finish up the job. All right, guys. We got everything back inside. We've rechecked all of our firearms to make sure they're all clear. And next thing we're going to do is put everything away. And we'll go ahead, grab our phone, and grab our other camera and our list. And I will put this back up in the safe and then we will uh, get to doing our downloading, uploading, editing and all that jazz. Alright, now what we do, I've got the memory card for my main camera in the computer and we'll go ahead and import all of them items. Uh, I import them into photos it's the way my computer works. It is a Windows 10. And then I'll go and do this camera and download all of them or import them up to photos. All right, we've got everything imported from both cameras, well, except for the footage that we're doing right now. And before i done anything, run inside, wash my hands, tell me about to eat. Anytime you're handling ammo or anything ammo related, remember to wash your hands. All right, so from here, since we've got everything imported to our photos, we're going to go over and grab our editor. Now, everybody knows how cheap I am, so I use Movie Maker 7 as my editor. It's free, and it does a good job. Go over here to Pictures, grab our intro. Well, if I can find it. There we go. Alright, then we'll go back over here to photos. Everything related to that video, we're going to grab it. Alright, we done the... Put up our pictures. This will be the 22 versus 9 millimeter. Oh, Annie's yapping. Let's let Annie in. Looks like we'll grab all the files associated with that particular video. Now we'll stick them up here on our movie maker and then wait for them all to process on it. Alright guys, it took about 10 minutes for all of this to configurate, but everything to do with that video is here on our movie maker. So now what we'll do, we'll go through here and get all of our editing done. Uh, this says I have 25 minutes and 41 seconds worth of stuff on here, so of course there's a lot of editing to be done, and 
you got to remember that includes both cameras too because that close-up camera you know a lot of that will be edited out you know just the free running what I'm going to do is go ahead and hit this this will take approximately uh, maybe an hour uh, my computer is showing 1034 at the moment so let's get all this edited up and then I'll show you the next step All right, guys, the editing on that one went really fast, 10.53, so roughly it took me about 20 minutes to edit that video, uh, which is not too bad. Uh, this is the actual video, golf balls, jacketed hollow point, and hollow points that you will see as a normal video. Um, what did we get it down to? 8 minutes, 19 seconds, which is perfect. Um... I will put the actual video on after I put making of a video on. So that way y'all can see the differences between the time, of course, and all that went into making um, that video happen. Now, the next step we do is save movie for high definition display. Yeah, you know the phone would ring. Alright, I went ahead and put the title into there. And as you see, it says Saving Movie. 19% uh, complete. Well, this will take a little while. But after that gets saved, I'll show you all the next step. Alright, that process is done. So now we need to make sure that we save changes to it. And put it in here. Golf balls 22 and 9mm. Safe. Go up to our YouTube. Hit create. Upload videos. Run over here to pictures. Golf balls. Jacketed hollow point and hollow points. And guys, that's pretty much it. There's a couple of things I have to do on this screen, of course. Uh, fill out everything down through here. Monetization, video elements, so on and so forth. And hope it's monetized. And there we have it. Anatomy of a video, whatever you want to call it, how to make a video. I think I'll, t I'll, t I'll title this Anatomy of a Video. I like that sound. But anyway, that's how I do a video, and that's what all it takes in order for me to get it done. And I thought y'all would get a real kick out of that and gain some knowledge on, you know, how stuff is done. Well, guys, I appreciate you watching. Again, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you would, throw me down some comments. Uh, if you're able, hit us up on Patreon. And please, like, share, and subscribe. Again, appreciate it much. Till the next one, I hope that everyone has a fantastic day.